as we stand in front of Wendy's, a restaurant that employs uh, employs over a dozen low-wage workers. And we're here today because we we fought back against we fought back against the city council's decision, and we won. I say we are here today because workers said no. We will not stop fighting to improve our lives because of a legal question. We're going to go to court and we're going to win. win. So what do we do? We win. win. What do we do? We win. win. And I was one of the plaintiffs in a lawsuit that we won yesterday that I am so excited about where they told us that we can now have a uh, vote for 15 and get paid 15 an hour. I'm a minimum wage worker at Jimmy John's. I'm a plaintiff on, I was a plaintiff on the legal case and also a volunteer with 15 now. Uh, Yesterday, with, with the, the decision from court to allow 15 an hour on the ballot, marks a huge and historically significant event for workers in Minneapolis. It gives us the ability to put $900 million per year into the pockets of the communities that need it the most. CEOs are paying themselves thousands of dollars an hour while the people that do all of the work, or most of the work, are barely able to provide for their families. Now the Chamber of Commerce is currently lobbying City Hall to appeal the decision, which amounts to keeping workers in poverty. As of January 2014, in every place where the minimum wage was, revised, er, was raised, they saw more job growth than places where minimum wage stayed the same. And with a new poll showing 68% of likely voters in Minneapolis supporting a $15 minimum wage, we are very happy to see uh, our legal suit have won, has won, uh, overturning city council's decision to block her vote. I want to bring another worker. Um, her name is Denise. Uh, she, she works for Breaking Bread down the street. I think it's imperative that we get 15 an hour just so we can have the opportunity to sustain a quality life and self-sufficiency. We're not out here begging for nothing. We work every day like everybody else. But the difference is we're not making a wage that is sustainable to su live a sufficient and quality life. And everybody deserves a quality life. To put our proposal for 15 on the ballot, our proposal that says Wendy's, bigger businesses, would reach 15 by 2020, and smaller businesses in Minneapolis, medium-sized businesses, would reach 15 by 2022. Yes, yes. This will be a huge step forward for these over 100,000 workers. Work at Wendy's? Yes, sir. How long have you been here? I've been here for seven years. Okay. What do you do? I'm a griller. I cook. Okay. And everything. I do everything. I self uh, um, cashier. I don't. And I don't make sandwiches. Everything else I do, pretty much. <laughs> Uh, do you mind telling me what your pay rate is? My pay rate, when I started at Winnie seven years ago, was seven fifty, okay. And I now make nine seventy five. Okay. And um, it's not enough. They're being urged by the Chamber of Commerce to continue to defend poverty wages and not put a $15 minimum wage on the ballot to be decided by those workers who are most affected. And we want to launch our campaign to carry this grassroots movement forward like Ginger just said, from this moment on, we're going on with a, with a campaign, electoral campaign. Electoral campaign led by workers, led by folks who don't, who don't, make, the same, who don't make the same money other folks in the city make. $11,000 an hour the CEO of Wendy's makes. And the folks who stand behind me, they don't make more than nine fifty. So this is about equality, this is about opportunity, and I urge you folks to get behind this campaign. I urge you folks to get out here and door knock. I urge you folks to get out, get to the knock office or the 15-hour office and make phone calls. September 12th, we'll be launching the campaign to take $15 minimum wage to the ballot for Minneapolis okay. What are you going to be doing then? Oh, we'll have a rally and we'll tell folks how to get involved, similar to what Mike was just announcing with the knock. What about the rest of the city, other than North Minneapolis? We'll be doing it, yep. We'll, we'll talk about that on September 12th. It'll be a rally and a launch to, to get uh, folks plugged in all across the city of Minneapolis.